Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Smurfette and today... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is the Blue m, &M. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Srish and today we're doing a September plan with me bullet journal video. Um, if you're new here, please take a second to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, remember to leave it a thumbs up before you go and leave me a comment telling me what you'd like to see in the future. So today I also wanted to do a back to school part three, um, where I share with you some money saving tips for college, which I feel like is very relevant to everyone who's going to college because I don't care how rich you are at the start of the year you will get worse and worse through the rest of the year. So, so today I am also sharing with you some of my top money saving tips for college as we go through the plan with me. So sit back, relax, and let's save some money together. Okay, so my first tip would have to be get as many part-time jobs as you can. Now, I know I said jobs as in plural because <laughs> trust me, you will need the money. Just, just go with me on this, okay? Obviously, if you're studying internationally, you would have to look at your visa and how many hours of work it lets you do. When I went to the UK, mine allowed me to do 20 hours during turn time and 40 hours during the holidays but it might be different for you but as far as possible make sure you are constantly employed through your degree all right let's talk about this month's theme for just a little bit so as discussed on my instagram which is at bulleting bird by the way if you haven't followed it yet go do it now I'm going for like a purple and gold and black watercolour abstract theme with some like really cool curvy lines in silver. So here you can just see me set it all up and it was quite time consuming <laughs> so I don't expect you to copy this entire theme but I thought it would be really cool to share some inspiration on here. And because it took me so long to set up, including drying time and stuff like that, as you can see, I use a blow dryer to help dry this all up quickly. It took me an hour and a half to set the whole thing up, all of the spreads. Yeah, I know, that's crazy. So I will speed through this first cover page and show you just the entire process. But also, I will just skip setting up the rest of the spreads and we can just go straight into the actual like date and writing and all of that setup. So yeah, bear with me while I finish up this cover spread and then we can jump into tip number two.
my second tip is to make sure you invest in a couple of important things. So you want to invest in a good coat. This is especially true if you live somewhere where it's raining or snowing or it's cold or windy all the time. Um, invest in a good pair of shoes because I can promise you if you're at university you're going to be walking a lot. So make sure you have sturdy shoes that can deal with the rain, this anti-slip and all of that kind of stuff and warm if you're in a cold country. And the same thing goes for bedding. You want to make sure it's sturdy and thick. Buy a good set of pillows, a good duvet. You can buy a whole bunch of cheap sheets and pillowcases, but make sure your pillows and your duvet are durable because I promise you they will be used like anything if you get my drift. <laughs> the other thing to invest in is a good extension board. So university rooms as a rule have really crappy power supplies. So you want to make sure that you have enough plugs for all of your devices like your laptop, your chargers and all of that. Especially if you're traveling internationally where you will likely need um, these plug converter things. So tip number three has to do with socialization and things like that. I have found that daytime events, especially the ones organized by your clubs or societies or your university, the daytime ones are usually free or cheap as compared to the nighttime events, which are usually like clubbing and going on a night out, or going to dinner and things like that. And I find that those can be a lot more expensive. So where possible, try and make new friends at daytime events because those are the kind of friends who will actually remember you tomorrow morning. The number one disease going around during Freshers Week is meningitis and it can be expensive to get your vaccines in a country where you don't have health insurance. A lot of your universities might provide you with health insurance but it's better to do all that you can before you leave home. Even if the country you're going to offers you free healthcare like England did for me, 
it is always safer to make sure all of your vaccines are up to date so you don't fall ill and you don't have to pay for medication. <laughs> available to you in a lot of your local stores around your universities but make sure you use it because trust me it will save your life and also look for birthday discounts I know I went to paper chase last um in May 2017 I believe and um on my birthday I know how sad is that I went to a stationery shop on my birthday um <laughs> but I got 10% off for my birthday plus 10% off student discount which was amazing so you probably spent a lot of money on your birthday but I saved money on mine so who really won here probably still you but yeah use your student discount carry your student ID everywhere Bye.